Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby again here in Louisville, Kentucky, St. Stephen Baptist Church, with another powerful point to ponder as we unpack God's Word, spending meaningful moments with the Master on a daily basis. Thank you and welcome again. We started yesterday a series entitled uh, Refuse to Be Miserable. And the whole premise for this, this series is that fundamentally, we're just as happy as we choose to be. There are certain things that we do that put us on the fast track towards a life of misery. And we want to talk about the things that put us on that fast track and how to avoid them. We started off yesterday talking about that one of the things that creates misery is worry. And how Jesus told us, remember what we looked at in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 25? Remember what he said? Matthew 6 verse 25 reads, this is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life. Worry, anxiety, a lot of things are beyond our control. We use our imagination, we exaggerate our imagination about what's going to happen. We, we bring tomorrow's concerns into the day or something that happened yesterday into the day and we break down. And Jesus says, don't worry because worry is wasteful, we talked about that yesterday, it's harmful and it's sinful. What's the response? What's the antidote for worry? Well, he tells us not to worry, but he also tells us what to do in order to avoid it because it's what, it's what brings misery. First of all, let me give you some P words. And here they are, priorities, promises, principles. That's the answer. Priorities, promises, principles. Priorities. Set your priorities. You want to stop worrying? Set your priorities. So look at Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33 as you set your priorities. It says, seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously or justly and he will give you everything you need. When you make God your priority, God has promised to make sure that your basic needs are met. He's the priority, God is the priority. Get your life in alignment with God, that should be your priority. And I'm not saying just get your life in alignment with God and don't do your best. Um, do your best, but make sure that your life is in alignment with God. Proverbs chapter 13 and verse eight, says this, the rich have to use their money to save their lives, but no one threatens the poor. In other words, that sometimes we are anxious and worried because we've accumulated so much stuff and we accumulate a whole lot of stuff. Sometimes we're worried about losing it. How we, we got a house that we, we really don't need or we got things we really don't need. And when you have all these things that you really don't need, you become anxious about, well, suppose I lose it. Just set your priorities. Uh, setting your priorities means that you're not competing with anyone. You're not, you, you tell your relatives or your friends, you know, uh, I'm not in the who has the biggest house contest. This house is sufficient for me. Or I'm not worried about who has the newest car contest because the car I have is a sufficient car for me. Your priorities is not to impress anyone. Your priorities is not to keep up with anyone. Your priorities is not to keep up with the Joneses, not realizing that the Joneses are broke too. Your priority should be to seek first the kingdom of God. Set your priorities. This is one of the ways to avoid worry. Secondly, seize some promises. Once you have set your priorities that I'm living for God, I'm not trying to impress anyone, I'm not trying to live above my means, I'm going to make sure that I'm not going to equate my net worth with my self-worth. I've set my priorities because most, most of the time we're in debt and we're worried about stuff because our priorities were all wrong. If you be honest with yourself, we're worried about some stuff because our priorities are wrong and we got ourselves into some serious financial troubles and financial difficulties because we had wrong priorities. Seek first the kingdom of God. Then once you've done that, seize some promises. Matthew chapter 26 says this. Matthew chapter 26, excuse me, verse six and verse 26. Chapter six, verse 26 says, 
Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns. But your heavenly father feeds them and aren't you far more valuable to him than they are. He's talking about birds. And he's saying, look, I take care of the birds. Now, when God takes care of the birds and there's they are not God doesn't just drop a worm in the bird's nest. The bird has to go out there and get the worm. And God doesn't just construct the, the nest for the bird. The bird has to go out there and get the twigs. And many times you hear people say, um, oh, she eats like a bird. Let me tell you something. Birds can eat. They can put it down. Do you know the average bird eats probably two or three times their weight every day? So if you weigh 200 pounds, imagine eating 600 pounds every day, two to three times your weight every day. That's what a bird eats. So a bird has, you know, it, it needs a lot of food. But one thing the bird doesn't worry about, and that is, I wonder if there's going to be worms tomorrow. I wonder if there's going to be material to construct my nest in case something happens to my nest. The bird doesn't worry about that because the bird trusts God that, if the, that, that seizes the promise that God's going to take care of the bird. You've never, have you ever heard a bird chirping at night on a limb going back and forth worrying about worms, worrying about uh, a, a, a straw for their nest? No, the bird doesn't do that because the bird is seizing the promises. Have you set your priorities? Are you seizing the promises? A lot of people want to come back to church so they can sit on the premises. And we want you to sit on the premises. We're going to get back in church one day. But until you can sit on the premises, just stand on the promises. And the promise is that God will take care of you. Set your priorities. Don't try to impress anybody. Live within your means. Get in a budget. Get on your budget. Seize the promises that God's going to take care of you and always is and always has. And then see the principle. See the principle. And here's the principle. Matthew chapter 6, verse 34 reads, So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for, the, today's trouble is enough for today. And here's the principle. Don't worry about tomorrow until tomorrow comes. Just get through today. Because God has promised to give us enough grace to get through the day. Set your priorities. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I'm not trying to compete with anyone. I'm going to live within my means. And if need be, I'm going to downsize. I'm going to seize the promise. God takes care of the birds. God will take care of me because I'm more valuable than birds. See the principle. And that is, I'm just going to deal with today's issues and God will give me enough grace to deal with tomorrow when tomorrow comes. So let me ask you a question. Why should I be discouraged? And why should the shadows come? And why should my heart feel lonely and long for heaven and home? When Jesus is my portion, a constant friend is he. His eye is on that sparrow that has to eat two to three times his body weight every day. And if his eye is on the sparrow, I know he watches me, always has, always will. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. Help us to truly believe that worry is one of the fast tracks to a miserable life. And we don't want to live a miserable life. So deliver us from worry because it's wasteful, it's harmful, and it's sinful. And help us, O oh God, to trust you. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you so much for being with us today. Another powerful point to ponder. If you don't have a church home, everybody needs a church home. So you can be a digital disciple and a part of our e-church, regardless of where you live. Just contact us here at St. Stephen Church at New Start. New Start at SSCLive.org. We call it New Start because everybody needs a new start. And maybe that's what you need. Let us help you with that new start. Contact us. God bless you. And as always, as we close, you know what the final salutation is during COVID-19. Stay safe. Stay sane. And if you can, stay home. God bless you. See you tomorrow.